explain. Hello and welcome back to Tavern Tales, where we experience a whole bunch of role-playing games, this one being first. Uh, <clears throat> being voice of cards. So in the last episode, I kind of told you guys that I was going to explore like a certain point up to here, up to like this line, sort of. And I, I, I kind of lied. I explored this entire peninsula. Um, but from that, we got a couple new mobs and stories. Um, and actually, we found uh, a few things. We found a few things. Well, we found. Well, we got a couple more uh, monster stories that I have yet to go ahead and read, uh, but we did find this tower, this musty tower over here. Now, I don't know if we're gonna go here eventually in this chapter or future chapters. Um, yeah, there's a couple chests in here. We also did get a couple quests done. I also got a couple quests done, they just kind of happened automatically, so I couldn't record it, I apologize for that. But we did find, uh, the, the little girl drawing one. Uh, we found a chest and we got some witches wear. Uh, and we also, uh found the stolen goods number two, which was like, and which ended up to be like over here, and the stolen goods two ended up to be like right over here somewhere, and then the, the little girl drawing was uh, around here uh, somewhere, so that's, that was a really good find. Otherwise, uh, where we left off story-wise... Uh, we found, we came from, we were in Unionville, we are having a good time in good old Dragon Quest Town, and we went to this nameless shrine to get Mr. Flobby back. Turns out, uh, we encountered a man who... <clears throat> encountered a man called Vince, who was basically the same uh, clan, or uh, with the same clan as uh, Mel, as Melanie, same garb and whatnot, like the same traditional garb and whatnot as Mel, and, <coughs> sorry about, sorry about that. Um, Vince is apparently obsessed with protecting the dragon. Um, so, we fought him. And apparently Mel ran away from home. Uh, that's when the Ivory Order trio intervened and began to fight off Vince. Which, unfortunately... Well, we managed to get Mr. Flobby back and return to him until we find out that during dinner he asked Mr. Flobby to come into a sec to a secret back room or something like that. And out came a nice jelly dessert with no Mr. Flobby. Uh, I think the head man of Unionville has some explaining to do, and, well, we, we showed him that we kind of beat him up because he kind of threatened Mar a little bit, because cannibalism. Um, but, at, but shortly after we left the headman's place, he started to put... He attempted to stab me and take Mar by force, which Mar jumped in, jumped to intervene. He got poisoned, 
by Watch a Call It Ex or Watch a Call It Extract. That that's literally what the poison's called. Here I'll show you. It's called What You Call It. So it's really weird. What you call it? Extract. Like what? Like what you call it? What you call it? I don't know. Yeah, we got that from Lappy. A little furball. Uh, we were sent off to go to Shoreland to give to the nutritionist that was there. So, uh, and, all, and because Mar got poisoned, uh, he is no longer in the party. So, he is in the, uh, the Union Bill in. So, hopefully we can find this nutritionist and, and whatnot so we can get Mar back and maybe we can well, uh, read off these stories together because I kind of want everyone to be in the party for one of these stories. You hear oh, a roar dear. in the distance. According to the townsfolk, it is a very recent phenomenon. Was that? Does that sound like a dragon? Or Rumor something? in the village has it that it might be the dragon. Yeah. It kind of does sound like a distant dragon roar or something. But, uh, yeah, we've got the carriage shop, we got the inn. I don't think we need to use the inn. Because I'm good health wise. Uh, I did level up a little bit, did some grinding. But I don't want to do too much grinding like I did when I was exploring the rest of the damn peninsula. Uh,. But, uh, yeah. The man says the fishing industry <coughs> is usually thriving in their seaside town. But recently, nets have been coming up empty. Hmm. Uh, some... Maybe a dragon problem? I don't know. I mean, what other... He mentions that even the fishing those. harbor to the northwest has been suffering from poor hauls of late. Yeah, uh... Huh. Geez, more stories that we unlock. Um... I'm, I'm, I'm just taking this town in, because this looks great. All this art looks really good. I can feel the dragon's oh, presence. I must inform Lady Winifred, the knight mutters. Oh. Oh, don't do that. That's my, that's my prey, all right? Mr. Closed Window Blind. You feel impatient, determined not to let the order beat you to it. Yeah. <coughs> oh boy, another game parlor. We've played enough cards there. A troubled woman tells late, you that so. there has been a rise in thefts lately. She speculates the recession to be the cause. Yeah. I mean, that makes sense. If you're... If an entire town is low on... An entire town is low on supplies, people become desperate, and some turn to less lawful things. She claims yeah, that even yeah. the cold medicine she always has on hand has disappeared. Yeah, either rogues or magic. That's about it. She narrows her eyes uh, at the crowd, suspecting yeah. there is a thief among them, and offers a reward for the return of the medicine. Oh. So that's the Your side ears quest. perk up at the word reward, and you yeah. immediately agree to help expose the dirty thief. Damn straight, even though Mar is in critical condition. Uh, I need that medicine back. She sighs heavily, a gloomy look on her face. Yeah. Because we can quickly check what's in the shops. If there's anything of interest, if I'm being honest. Like, um, I don't. Yeah. 
there's not really an interest in the apothecary or probably the item. Even probably the item shop wouldn't have anything interesting. Um, I guess it's uh, yeah, not nothing much really. Zap smoke. It's actually a great name for it. Uh, Let's check out the armor. Uh, we also did get some new equipment last episode as well. So. Oh. Thunderstaff. Yeah. That looks good. There's, there's frost mail. <coughs> that actually looks pretty good. Four. It's certainly to keep in mind, that's for sure. Um, a lot of current gears. I also got some new gear that was kind of uh, the reward for uh, the girl drawing and uh, the stolen goods too. We got some warriors mail and witches guard and witches wear, which uh, I still have. I think I still have yet to equip my party. I think. So I'm just, uh, uh, even more flip side stories. You approach a woman sneaking around in a corner of town. Hearing your voice, she turns in surprise. You see a vial of cold medicine clutched in her hands. Oh, hi, thief. You explain that the person she stole it from needs it back. The woman begins to explain her own situation with downcast eyes. My poor little boy is bedridden, she says tearfully. He needs medicine, but I don't have any money, so I took it. Jeez, oh, like... Uh... Her son's ill. She doesn't have any money, so yeah, desperate people do take desperate measures, I suppose. back and get a, the reward that we promised, or do we just let her keep it? Uh, how heartless do we want to be? Yeah, I don't know. Curedine just wants a reward, so... No matter the reason, theft is wrong. You ignore her excuses and take the medicine from her. Yeah. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry, my boy, she whispers, her voice breaking with tears as she totters away. You feel bad for her and her child, but know you must return the medicine to its rightful owner. Now to receive your reward. Yeah. Kind of a little awful about that, but eh, that's just one way of doing it, I suppose. The woman thanks you for returning the medicine and bestows you with a reward. Mysterious card six, yay. I don't even know. 
Unsure if you made the right choice, you return to your journey with a heavy heart. Saving one forsakes the other. What a cruel world this is. Yeah. Honestly, like... Choices have to be made at some point or another, so... All the sound effects are... We're just stepping on the dock- up here on the docks. Occasionally there's like a bit of wood creak. A bit of wood creaking. Oh, it's so good. So good. I feel like it's really good. The sign buy. on the door so, reads, yeah. The Great Nutritionist Oreo. <laughs> Oreo. Oh, man. <laughs> At least it's not the cookie. Or is it? I don't know. It's spelled differently so that they can... It's spelled differently so they don't get sued. But no. You open the door without knocking. Is anyone home, you call? Oh yeah, he'd totally do that. Oh hi. A muscular man emerges hey, from yeah. the back. We saw you in the movie. In that little, uh, In the chapter 4 cinematic from last episode. You politely yeah. ask if he is the nutritionist. Mm -hmm. Indeed, I am the nutritionist Oreo, he answers. Yeah, well that's good. He says he has been studying dietetics here for many years. Oh, that's helpful, hopefully. You hand yep. Oreo the extract and explain that your comrade is now bedridden because of it. What you call it extract? What you call it? What do you call it, Oreo? He stares at the extract for That's a long what time. What you call it? And then opens the bottle and laps at the liquid inside. Are you nuts? That's poison. Melanie shouts in alarm. The man insists that he'll be fine with his expertise of nutrition, and insists that knowledge is power, as if that will help somehow. Are you dumb? I mean, you're buff as all hell, but can you really take that poison? Regardless, it seems he managed to grasp the composition yeah. of the poison with that lick and starts concocting a nutritional supplement to counter it. Okay. I mean, that's one way of doing it. You just take it yourself and figure out what to... However, he says he needs a spry fish, which has been difficult to catch lately. Oh, are we gonna... Oh, we have to go do a fishing minigame? Like in Zelda or something? I he needs a special fish but... to make the necessary supplement. Yeah. All right. When he explains yeah. that you can catch one in the surrounding sea, Riddus <clears throat> confidently interjects. Oh, really? Really, She Riddus? shows you a page from her ancient tome which explains the ecology of the fish in detail. Oh, that's helpful. That book comes in handy from time to time, Melanie remarks in surprise. I, uh, it's like, how old is that book, I suppose? Oreo gasps as uh, if remembering something. Really? He says that his son went out fishing and, with a bit of luck, may have already caught a spry fish. Oh, that helps out really nicely. It sounds like his son is um, fishing on the wharf. You decide to go find him. Okay. Uh, near the shoreland, near the shoreland wharf. I just flip side story. Well, someone's here, so this must be his son. You see a young man with his line in the water, yep. and call out to him. Hey, you! Are you the nutritionist son? Or something like that? I don't know. Yeah, he you're buff as hell as well. turns around and flexes, shouting out suddenly, Power is power. 
Yeah. You stare, enchanted by his bulging musculature. There is no doubt in your mind that this is Oreo's son. Yeah. I, I don't I don't really know if I see a resemblance between the two. He asks the... if you have business with him. Yeah, we kind of do have business. Have you caught any fish? Though you are pretty sure of the answer, you ask the young man if he is the nutritionist's son. Yeah, I might as well confirm it. Uh, just that I am, he answers. He introduces himself as Bruno and says oh, he is learning Bruno. to be a nutritionist like his father. Huh. Oreo and Bruno. Oh, that's... Uh, those are names. You introduce yourself, expressing to him that you are a hero on a journey and require a spry fish to save your ill comrade. Yeah. His eyes begin to sparkle the moment you utter the word hero. And he becomes engrossed in your tale. Oh, that's what more it or is. less grasping the situation. Okay. He regrets to inform you that he has not caught any spry fish yet. Oh, well, shit. That's not good. He says that a monster has settled near their town, and its thundering roars have scared most of the fish away. Ah. Oh. You know Oreo needs a spry fish to make that supplement. Hearing the despair in your voice, Bruno speaks, his words like an ember in the dark. He tells you that there is a harbor near town where fishermen gather. Perhaps you can find the fish you seek there. You thank him for the information, then head to the harbor with your comrades. All right. Just as you are about to leave, Bruno offers to escort you there. Is it a reward you're after? You are about to ask. But Melanie smacks you on the head before you can voice it <laughs> and allows him to come along. Oh, uh, the... Yeah. <laughs> uh... Yeah. <laughs> just quack. Just. Would you just shut up about that? Uh. Northwest of Shoreland. Oh yeah, that harbor from. Okay. Set up your party. Sure. We'll actually have Bruno in here. See how. See how underleveled he is. Compared to, uh, uh, compared to, uh, compared to everyone else. <laughs> uh, not much better. Not much better than, uh, than where Ritus, when, where, uh, Ritus was when we picked her up. Not much better. I guess it may might be a good thing. But uh, actually, while I'm there, I should just... Uh, uh, equipment. Oh. What armor do we get? Warrior's mail. Which is where? Huh. We can't uh, flip it. Yeah, we're equipping that to Mel, which is where. Oh wow, I don't have any armor. Uh, maybe Ritus? Probably not. Ritus can have it. And I'm wondering if Mar can take it as well. Which... I 
just I guess would I have any accessories that could assist with uh, I do have a rank protection. Um yeah, so we're gonna deck him out at least. I'm gonna deck Bruno out at least for a little bit. Uh, combat gloves. Frost mail. against paralysis. Um, we're gonna get this for Bruno, because buying a clip. We can give Bruno this at least, uh, just so that his defense is just up for a while. Sorry, I haven't, I haven't been talking. I'm just looking at this shit. Uh, as for me, I should probably just get it, because it's just better, it's better than what I have currently, so, um, might as well, I suppose, um, uh, yeah, so let's, I think that, that'll be it, because there's no better weapon here. For him here. Is everyone rested? For the most part. Yeah. Okay. Um. I guess, uh. Bring this back up. I am sorry. But I just want to see what he can do. Okay. Oh, wow. Kind of like a support. Kind of like a support for everyone. Attack herb, muscle herb. Adds three to all allies attack for three turns. And defense. Okay. Plus he can deal some as well. Which is not bad uh, at all. Oh, um. I'm just looking at what I currently have. Um, yeah, I got this. The Tri Blade deals three times as much damage. Um, and that's to a single target, so. Skills. Unless I really want to replace my slash with uh, with it, and that'd be that'd be an interesting call just to do that. Um, but uh, yeah. I think we're just gonna leave it there and go head on up northwest to continue the story and see where this goes because the monster that's scaring all this fish 
I mean, one could say it is the dragon. Bruno looks ecstatic yeah. that he was allowed to join your party. Oh, uh, yeah. And there's my girlfriend. When you there's ask him the... why, he tells you that his dream is to be an adventurer and has thus been training Boy, every day. But... Oh, what was that? I'm so, I'm so sorry. Uh, you ask him why. You ask him why, he tells you that his dream is to be an adventurer been training every day. But his father, famed in the world of nutrition, forced him into following in his footsteps. Oh, lovely parenting, then. One desires strength, uh, the other knowledge. Unable to see eye to eye, the two fight nearly every day. Yeah, that's... Fair. What will you ask Bruno? Got something against armor. Curious about his attire, you ask yeah. why he does not wear armor. He confessed that he once wished for armor, but deemed it unnecessary after gaining so much muscle. Oh, so like a barbarian then? You just you you just flex. You you just flex, and it protects you. You ask Bruno about his sword arm, yeah. saying you are something of a swordsman yourself. Yep. Indeed I am. Bruno replies that he specializes in hand-to-hand -hand combat oh. and flexes his bulging biceps as proof. Oh, so like a monk or something like that. Apparently, he only carries around a sword to look like an adventurer. Honestly, that's fair. In More that moment, you anything. realize something. While his passion for being an adventurer is true, he is dumber than a sack of rocks. I mean, that would be a fair assessment. The words, birds of a feather flock together, run through your mind. Uh. But you quickly chase them away, afraid of what that means for you. Yeah. I don't know, an enemy appears. Let's see how he is, actually. Let's see how Bruno is in combat. Because random encounter. Hey, happenstance card, we get a gem. Yay. Don't hold back. Um. Baron Harbor. Yeah. Go here, see what's uh, see what's going on here. Scour the harbor for a spy fi spry fish. It's a spy fish. Spy fish, that's so. There's a couple NPCs here we I will check out. He has been fishing for several days, having decided not to return home empty handed. 
That's commitment. Uh, he hopes his wife and yeah. child back in Shoreland are well. Wait. Are you the father of that sick child? The woman oh, says no. she has been waiting here for days, worried about her husband, who has yet to return. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Look at that ass. Oh, like... Yeah, once you get buff. Lately, a monstrous to... roar has been disturbing oh. the seas and scaring away all the fish. Yeah. He sighs, That's lamenting fair. that his catches have been poor as a result. Yep. Yeah, when I, like once you get buff, certain parts of your body just become very noticeable. This is the last thing. Oh, hi. A rough-tempered piscator stands there, having just returned from fishing. Yeah? How'd it go? Mars' fate rests upon this man's hall. Terrible, he says, showing you the few fish he's caught. Inside, you see... A spry fish? A spy fish? Either one would work. Either one would work. A spry fish, Bruno shouts. You ask him if you can have the spry fish, but he says he won't give it up for free. Yeah. How much? When you ask how much it will cost, he gives the absurd price of one million gold pieces. Uh, come on, man. You're heartless, Riddus pouts. The man is enraged by the rude response. From a certain point of view, that's... Yeah. Just then, Bruno prances okay. forth and shouts, Stop right there! Your fisherman muscles are simply sublime, he exclaims. Great. He challenges the man to a competition of muscles with the spry fish as the prize. The piscator seems okay. interested and agrees on one condition. If you lose, you must become my servant. Oh, okay. This one's all yours, Melanie says, patting you on the shoulder. All right. Then let the carnival of might and muscles begin, Bruno roars, completely fired up. Yeah, let's take him. Your puny take body him. is no match for mine, the Piscator shouts back, throwing a punch. Piscator. I mean, one thing's for sure. Uh, no, I'm not going to say that joke. I didn't have anything good for the, for that for a punchline. But... Oh, it's a one on one. Oh god. Oh god, it's a one on one. Okay. Okay. I guess. Uh, forced to use the D-pad because. The analog stick is so touchy. I've already mentioned this a ton of times before, but yeah, like, so touchy. Um, for just a JRPG like this, uh, I'm just gonna raise my defenses by a little bit. Take him. That hurt a little. Oh, 
has recovered from. At least they don't. Uh, let's do this one. 1.5. It feels like watching a bodybuilder competition. <laughs> Honestly, yeah. I wonder how this actually plays out. Like, uh, is this just like, like a sumo wrestle? Like an arm wrestle. A battle of beefiness. that much. Yeah, you're done. I won this arm wrestle. Yeah. Oh. But, uh, yeah, there's that. His victory sealed, Bruno strikes a glorious pose and shouts out. Yeah. Witness the power of power. Yeah. I mean, that's honestly fair. Defeated. The Piscator uh. hands over the spry fish to Bruno. Mm -hmm. Bruno extends a hand to the Piscator, who has fallen to his knees. With a serene smile, he takes the offered hand. Yeah. Respect. To, uh... An unspoken friendship begins to form between the two. Or at least, you hope that's what the prolonged silence between them means. Yeah. Yeah, we're, we'll just assume that is what happens, so. Hey, we got a spry fish. Music is so catchy. Like I could, I could like just hum to this all day, like all day long. And we'll go back to good old Oreo cookies place. With the spry fish in hand, you head back yeah. towards Oreo's clinic. Bruno looks at your group sadly, reluctant for this little adventure to end. He doesn't, he doesn't want it to end. That's kind of funny. But, uh, yeah. You hand the fish to Oreo and ask him to make you the supplement. Yeah, we're... Just, just do, just do the thing. We're gonna give the cookie the fish. Give me a moment, he says. Then takes the fish and heads into the back. Watch, he's just gonna eat it and, uh, just not make the supplement at all. An hour. An hour of brewing for the that thing. It's ready, he says, yeah. emerging from his room and handing you a bottle. Is that like the bottle you're holding right now? Like all that red shit? I mean, the fish was kind of red. It was like orange, but like... Oh, that looks really good. Energy concentrate. Concentrate. Or... <laughs> Oreo cookies homemade supplement is nutritious and flushes out monster poison. You hope this will get Mar back on his feet. You need to get back to Unionville on the double. But before that... Oh, do we have to... Oh gosh. Uh. I really hope I don't have to pay anything. You face Bruno and say, take care, then run off. But Bruno stops you and says he wants to journey with you just a little longer. Uh. 
but Oreo is quick to douse the flames of his desire. You will stay here and study, he commands. Oh, lovely. Then you leave me thing. no choice. Bruno's expression reads as he raises both hands behind his head and squats at hyper speed. I want to show <laughs> this power to the world, yeah. Bruno proclaims to his father. Yeah, you show that asshole. You have much to learn, my son, Oreo retorts as he starts sidestepping at breakneck speed. Only the sound of their labored Just breathing like and bodies moving resonates through the otherwise silent room. <laughs> Just the cards, just moving back and forth really fast, just like in, uh, what is it, Smash Brawl? Uh, Smash Bros. Brawl, where, where you just go just hyperspeed on, uh, on, like, a GameCube controller or the, the Wiimote or the Nunchuck. Just be like, Is moving really fast. You back can and only forth. look on in stunned silence at the enigmatic display. Yeah. Like Fox or Marth. They've been doing that for a half hour. Jeez. That's... Bruno falls to his knees, panting. This is my limit. You can only do that for half an hour. You have grown, my son, Oreo says, looking no worse for wear. Yeah. So are you coming with us or not? Melanie interjects, ever the blunt one. Yep. Are you, are you coming? Only our muscles know the answer, comes Bruno's cryptic reply. I don't get it, Riddus remarks frankly. <laughs> Yeah. On the condition that he study nutrition upon his return, Bruno is allowed to go with you for just a little while longer. Yeah, that's You realize that these two have a very special way of talking that no one else can understand. Apparently, from, like, that half-hour display of exercising, if you want to call it that. Yeah, we're going to make our way to Unionville. Oh, Hearing dear. yet another roar in the distance, you realize you need to get the supplement to Mar so you can investigate the sound together. Yeah. Why? I get the feeling that we're just gonna get interrupted by a cutscene, like once we leave town and whatnot, so. I leave the area. I'm actually gonna not do, you know, the, the whole camera thing and. I'm not gonna do this. I'm, I'm, I'm not gonna do this because I would like to uh, actually grind out a little bit. Oh. And test out uh, Bruno a little more. Uh, gotta just play around with Bruno a little bit. Oh. And fight. Gold. Everything is guaranteed to hit. That's nice. Uh, we're gonna do this. Yeah. I guess I didn't even get to try out Bruno, so. Uh, yeah. Everyone's just a little, a little too high of level, but eh really cares, to be frankly honest. Oh, there's an event. Oh. Something will whip past us, and, uh... Oh, dear. A monster. Hey! Just like you thought. The monster rolls gleefully across the ground, yeah. reminding you of Mar. Your expression softens. Your friends give you strange looks. With a brisk clearing of the throat, you stride away. Yep. <laughs> I guess I like that. Like it reminds like what uh, 
what's in the present moment, I suppose. So, enter unit build. Yes, let's just get R back party so we can maybe read these stories. So... We need to do that. And that's a wall. <laughs> so excited to see him, I hit a wall in the process. Here he is. Mar lies Mar. listlessly upon the bed, looking somewhat haggard. Come on. You got this. You help Mar sit up. Drink this, Mar, you say to him gently. Yep, just Kirby suck this all the way down. He weakly opens his mouth, and you slowly pour the energy concentrate inside. Yeah, come on. Yay! Mar abruptly bolts up and turns his head toward you with a puzzled look. It's like, what did you just do to me? Did you fix it? It looks like Mar is all better now. Yay. Thank God. You give Mar a tight hug. Oh, yeah. Give him a bear hug. Big old bear hug, even though he's not a bear. He's no Mar trinket, mules but... softly in discomfort. Yeah, it's like, he's no, he's no trinket, but... Overcome with joy, you sob and stroke Mar's head. Yeah. Melanie and Riddus watch you two with a smile. Hmm. Bruno is deeply moved to see nutrition bringing a smile to others. Hmm. Yeah. Mar rejoins the party. Yay. So now we've got the... Uh... With this, you can finally put the happenings of that strange village behind you. You decide to take Bruno back to Shoreland, then continue your search for the dragon. All right. Yeah, that's what we're doing. So, uh, set up a party. I guess we can. Um, I want to keep Kyrdine out front. Yeah, so now we have five party members to play around with. So, uh, we're actually gonna have Mar in here. We're just gonna have Mar in here for now, because, uh, it's been a while since we've had him. A little while. Uh, how is he doing on levels? Level 18. Alright, so around that level. So. Yes, uh... Yeah, so we're just gonna continue exploring and make our way slowly back to Shoreland. Kinda wanna do some grinding. Like, I guess on screen grinding as well, but uh, I don't know if we're gonna skip any of these battles. But uh, since I've shown pretty much all of uh, Bruno's abilities right now. Uh, but uh, yeah, this combat can go real quick. Yeah, again, it's real quick. Good work. Over leveled as hell. Like, uh, just very over leveled, which. And Mel leveled up. Jeez. Zero elements. Attack plus 30 to all. It's five gems, though. That's. That's expensive. That's surely expensive. Um, yeah, that's, that's very expensive. But, uh, I might as well, uh, I guess I can show a lot of these. Since, uh, wow. Okay. Um, Oh, this combat's gonna take a while. Oh, this is gonna 
take a while because I don't have any lightning. So this may take a while, so I... So I guess... So I guess... Uh, I'm going to see you guys when this battle's done. Because this is gonna be a while, so I'll see you then. Enter the combat. Uh, welcome back. I am sorry that took so long. Oh, I guess it didn't take that long. But it did take a little while, so I do apologize for that. But, uh, yeah, we're going back to Shoreland now. And hopefully, uh... I see Bruno. To his home in Shoreland. Yeah, we're just gonna see him home. You arrive at Bruno's house. Though he seems to want to adventure a little more, he reluctantly enters his house. Yeah. You ask Oreo if he knows anything about the monster behind that mighty roar. Could it be a dragon? He says that the creature nests atop a tower not far from town. Oh. Oh, you mean that musty tower that we found uh, earlier on? With that, your next destination is decided. Here, you will part ways with these two, but you owe a great deal to the nutritionist and his son. Yeah. Bruno looks at you, his eyes begging you to let him come along. What will you say? Oh dear, how do I respond to this? Let us defeat the dragon together, you say to him. Yeah. Yeah. Oh man, I don't know why I'm tired. I guess I woke up late, so I'm still a little groggy. You are sure his but... power and knowledge will come in handy against the beast. Yeah. And you realize with a grin, he will be so happy just to come along that he will not want a share of the reward. I mean, yeah, maybe. I mean, if he... As long as I get majority of the reward, I think I'll be fine. Bruno is happy he can continue the journey, but Oreo stops him before he can get carried away. Uh, you cookie. You must stay here and study, Oreo says. Oh, come on, man. Bruno explains that the journey thus far has taught him the splendor of nutrition, and he now wishes to travel the world to deepen his knowledge. Yeah. After hearing his son out, Oreo suddenly removes his glasses. Oh. And in the blink of an eye, the flesh of Bruno's cheeks, pectorals, and abdomen recess. Oh, jeez. And Bruno is lifted off his feet with a dull roar. Oh, great. Your now eyes go wide now. at Oreo's assault, which was too fast for your eyes to catch. Yeah, that was a bit fast. Knowledge of know? nutrition can help save lives, but also strike down enemies, Oreo says softly. Wow, that nutrition point? is incredible, Ridis <laughs> marvels not putting too much thought into the events before her. And by nutrition, you mean steroids. Or something like Knowledge that. Knowledge is the true power. I suppose. I guess knowledge to make steroids. You tremble, never wanting but, to make you know. an enemy of Oreo. Though Oreo still deems his son's knowledge insufficient, he tells him to travel the world and surpass him someday. Yeah. Thank you, Father, Bruno says from the ground, moved yeah. to tears by the strength of Oreo's knowledge. Yeah. 
So it comes to pass that you journey to the tower with Bruno to find the Roaring Beast. And uh, I suppose that uh, mm. joins me. Yet another colorful character. Huh. Yeah. Another colorful character. A monk that is on all of the steroids to make himself buff as hell. But, you know, the tower that stands southwest of Shoreland. Yep, so it appears that that would be that tower from, uh, that, uh, oh wow, another chapter already? Jeez. Shoreland was his trapped father and his son dedicated themselves to nutrition. By that, he means steroids. So this a son, I don't, I didn't read that. Son resists, claiming power is power. Lovely, yeah. With the aid of both, their exhausted comrade springs back to life. Now we get more back. After learning prominent information, his father. The party heads to the imposing tower here in Shoreland. Find the source of that roar that shakes the land. Dragon's Tower. Are we this cl are we close to the end of the game? Like uh I don't even know. Like like we're we've got to be close, right? So I guess since Let's see Oreo's flip side story. So I guess uh well we got to get this event out of the way. Oh, uh, merchant. Nah. We're gonna not look at the thing. So, yeah, so we explored the rest. We explored this land a lot. And, um, we discovered this musty tower that's down here. Um, unless we get a boat or something to go exploring, uh, there's not really much we can do. So, um, so I guess, uh, at the start of the next episode, uh, I will teach you guys, uh, here, I will meet you guys here at, uh, this Misty Tower, um, and I may see what the townsfolk are like, since I left, since it's the end of the chapter, and, uh, and maybe before we go to that tower, I guess either next episode or the one after, because we have a lot of stories to read before then, so, and we just started a new chapter as well, so, I guess, uh, I'll explore the rest of this town, see if there's any, uh, any more things to do, uh, and I will catch you up to speed when I do. Do a little grinding for Bruno's sake, and, uh, I guess next episode we'll read some stories. Stories that we got a lot of from the past couple episodes and past couple grinding sessions. So, I guess, uh, uh, start of a new chapter, more stories to come. You're welcome back to the tavern to hear those tales whenever you so desire. Take care, travelers, and farewell. Bye, guys.